Hello and welcome. Today we're going to play through the tutorial of the game Sapiens. Now I am super excited for this game. It is historical. It is a city builder, so it's right up my alley and it's already on my wish list. The game is not yet fully released. We can only play a demo version for now, but it is going to take us through the tutorial. You can make some changes in settings before you start playing, such as sensitivity, graphics, and I've went ahead and changed the key binding for the build menu to B just because I kept hitting it by accident. Um, so I figured the option is there, might as well change it. So one thing that I really like about this game is that it is procedurally generated. Every map that you select and every tribe that you start is going to be a little bit different. And um, because of that, it creates a unique experience every time you start a new game. If you drop down the temperature bar all the way, you probably will end up playing in a very, very cold climate. But we're going to leave it in the middle for now. And let's go ahead and create this world. Those you choose to lead will be the ancestors of the entire human species. No pressure. Choose your tribe wisely. Alright, so... Um, as I said, this is procedurally generated, so the more you scroll, the more tribes you're going to find, and for each one that you click on, you'll have some random tribes people to pick from. By the way, as you're browsing around, you might notice that some tribes are close to water and some are not. It is not essential to be close to a water source. Um, it is perfectly okay to select a landlocked tribe. It's not going to have any kind of um, negative effect on your gameplay, so far as I could tell. So this tribe has five people in it already, which I think is a pretty good start. And we have some people who are charismatic and focused, but we also have slow learner and lazy. So it kind of balances out. These, tra these, um, these traits are going to come in handy later on. And look at this. There's no loading screen, you just zoom right in which is really cool. And we're going to hit space bar to pause. And the first thing the game wants us to do is start gathering up hay, which is a super important early resource. Okay, so what we can do is we can individually click on tiles, which is kind of tedious, or we can click and select more and select a radius. We can enlarge this or shrink it depending on how much we need from these resources. We're going to select all of that and gather up that hay. And we're going to hit tab to speed things up a little bit. Now you can see they have nowhere to place this stuff. So another really important aspect of this game is creating storage areas. And look at this. That snapping feature is so nice. That really comes in handy when you need to build quickly or when you are planning out your little village. And as the game says, you can only store a single type of resource in each box. Now here's the thing. The UI for this game is so clean and refreshing and it doesn't like, you know, intrude on your experience at all, which is all fine and dandy. However, that means that we need to really keep track of our resources by looking and seeing what we have. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and select one of these and come down here to accept all. And I'm gonna put things like branches and how about large rocks, all of this stuff we're going to be using for building. All right, and now if you put say all of your hay in one storage area and then you decide later on that you actually want it to move to a different storage area, what you would do is add a new root and simply connect it to a different storage section. And that way you can shift stuff because, you know, we don't quite know yet where the, like, the central part of our village is gonna be. So that's how you would move that stuff around. Later on when we start storing food, that's gonna be helpful to keep that in one place because we wanna keep that indoors or close to the campfire. Well, that's where they're gonna be cooking it. So we'll get that hay stored and let that start drying. And let's see what's next. We're going to need branches. We're going to need a little bit of food. 
Now, um, it's really best, especially since we don't have any indoor structure to place our food in, it's best to just take what we need and not grab a whole bunch of these because they are going to stay fresh on the bush or if you find apple trees or something, they will stay fresh while they're on the tree. Once you take them off, then they will um, start to slowly decay and we can see that if we click on it. And we'll see that it will rot in a few days because it's outdoors. All right, what is next? So we are going to need some branches. And yikes, there's not too many trees close by to us. Of course, there are also items laying around on the ground as well. So we're going to store those. Now you may have noticed the investigate symbol because we haven't inspected this item yet. We haven't learned any technology from it yet. And this is really important. Um, but before we do that, what I like to do is try to bring the item back first. That's not always possible, especially when you're uh, discovering things about animals that are on the move. But whenever possible, I like to bring the item back. And that way I can see who's inspecting it. And if night falls, they're not stuck out there <laughs> inspecting something in the middle of the night. So we're going to bring that back and have a look at it. And... Before we do that, there is one thing that we need to look at, which is the tribe menu. So I'm going to hit F2 and bring up our list of sapiens, right? And we can see that they have different roles already. Some of them are also assigned to investigation. I think this is the one who was the slow learner, and maybe that's why... Yes, slow learner. Um, anyway, so we would not be assigning investigation to her. However, this is, I think, a good amount. Um, however, once this fills up and they've learned as many skills as they can, there's not a whole lot of point in keeping investigation as one of those skills. We'll get more into that later. So let's go ahead and, and I'm actually going to hit tab to speed things up a little bit. So we now have some branches that are right here at home. And now I'm going to sign investigating. I'm also going to assign it for this hay as well, which is important. All right. Sapiens are happy when they sleep on a bed rather than the ground. Now that we have hay, let's build a few beds. No problem. Let's build it. Let's put it in the shade of this tree here. I think that'll be nice. And we'll just create a simple line of beds. And what I'm going to do is press and hold right click in order to rotate that until I have it where I want it. And then we will simply, how many sapiens do we have? Five, I believe, yeah, five, one, five. There we go. Now they have some little mats that they can sit on. Right, investigating to advance. In order to advance, we need to investigate the world around them. Yes. We'll unlock new things to craft. Let's put our fire. Doesn't really matter too much, but hmm. Let's put it right here. Okay, very good. Now, for that, we're going to need rocks. And I'd prefer to find like a nice little cluster. Here we go. I'm going to use that option that we have where we can collect multiple items at once. And that's going to be a lot faster than just clicking on all of them individually. And once we bring some of those rocks back, we're going to start investigating those as well. I'm going to put down, I'm going to put down a couple of extra mats. Reason being, later on when people join, I always forget to build beds for them. And they end up sleeping on the ground and I feel, I feel like it dickhead. We'll go ahead and- oh, look, that's building. We've discovered- <laughs> discovered- we've discovered that vegetation can be used to create a shelter. Good job, good job. I'm so proud of you guys. And that's great because actually we can build a nice cheap little roof. And that way they're not sleeping out in the open. Yeah, let's put the thatch roof right next to the fire. What could possibly go wrong? I'm gonna get that nice little thatch. Oops, is that covering that bed? I can't be sure. 
Let's... Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So I've opened the F2 menu again because I want to see who has been assigned to building that thatch roof. I want to get that up before nightfall. And it looks like only one person has been assigned to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of these people's roles with thatch building. And so that's now part of their jobs as well. So we should have more people than we're constructing thatch. Aha, recruitment. Invite a visitor. Ooh, that means, that means there's people that want to join. Hello. Recruit. Recruit. Yay. Alrighty, that's great. That's more people. And actually, okay, they haven't joined yet. We haven't officially invited them. But once they join, of course, we want to check out and see what their skills are. Go ahead and speed things up. I will collect just a little bit more food too because we've had new people to oh my goodness and a child. Hello. You want to join? Is that everybody? <laughs> I don't want to leave anyone out. Okay, great. Oh look and a chicken. We'll investigate that as well. Excellent. Okay, I should build another little roof for these people. That way we don't have some people left out in the cold. And let's put that one right next to the fire, too. Live life on the edge. Look at that. <laughs> Genius. Oops, okay. Yellow triangle means we don't have the resources. And it's grass. It's always grass. Can never have enough grass. Alright, select and collect. And what else? What else? Ooh, I should build a little crafting area. Yeah, let's get some of those going. Crafting, crafting, crafting. I guess we'll put those right... I haven't even investigated a rock yet to build tools with, so actually I probably should not be bothering with this, but... Anyway. One, two. Four is good. And who else? Mr. Dreadlocks. What do you have? Focused. That's good. That means actually... Can I assign traits from here? I don't think so. Okay, so focused means... Oh, great. He's already got investigation assigned. That's good. And there was a child, wasn't there? Did we not invite the kid? <laughs> Oh no. That kid said, screw this. Okay, whatever. Basic hunting. Oh great, we can get little chickens. So that's good. I need those. And we can't hunt alpaca just yet, but I was hoping to find a dead one. Oh, ask and ye shall receive. Look at that. Alright. Got some alpaca. branches. Wait. Has no one recruited him? Oh, he's being recruited. Okay. <laughs> We're a little iffy on the kid. Okay, and somebody else just joined. Ah, right. So children can't do some tasks, and also after a female sapien gives birth, they're carrying the child around with them. Like, Native American style, so they will be limited, I think, from doing tasks like construction and that kind of stuff. Alright, now that there's one here, I'll go ahead and investigate it. And again, I just like to do that so that I can see who is investigating it and make sure they haven't wandered off too far. I'm actually going to create some separate uh, storage areas right here for food because I feel like Food should probably be, at least meat anyway, uh, like chickens and whatnot, should be um, close to the fire. So let's go ahead and change that to alpaca carcass. And we'll add a new route and we'll bring that to there. Excellent. And hopefully somebody will move. Ah, okay, we studied the rock. We have rock napping. So we'll go ahead and start crafting some items, maybe an axe. 
Cut down some trees. Yes. Some more crafting and some knives. And that will allow us to start butchering our lovely little dead animals. That will be nice. And everyone's kind of chilling for now. I think we're all just sort of waiting for bedtime, which is fine. Can't investigate butchering yet. So who can start making stone tools? Here we go. Rock napping. And you, rock napping as well. All right, ladies, hop to it. Oops. Ah, oh, damn, I meant to make that one for chicken. Whatever. Oh, goodness, that reminds me. I'm gonna make two other storage areas right here. Yeah, right here. And I think for the second day, I would like to make that an enclosed area. And that way, we can start storing food inside and it will last a little bit longer ah oh, nice all right we butchered the carcass looks like we got a lot of meat all kinds of stuff ah oh, no one nearby would investigate who who can investigate I wish that the traits were somehow listed. Alright, so you... I think we took investigating away from her. <laughs> um, we'll add it back. And when she's not sleeping, then we'll start investigating that. And what are we missing? Oh my god, I ran out of hay. I always, always run out of hay. This game is so scenic, honestly. You just saw for a second uh, how the stars are like whirling around the sky and it just looks so nice, honestly. I can't wait until I get a village to a point where it can kind of suffice on its own. That way I can just like zoom out, sit back, watch my little village. <laughs> no, but there's always something to do. There's always some management to be done. Ah, agriculture. Okay, I think we just need to... No, no, sir. Can you not stand? Okay, I think we just need to investigate those, and then we can start planting them. Oops, it's autumn. Okay, great. So we felled a tree, and we're going to get some logs from that, which is good, because then we'll stop using up our branches. So that'll be helpful. And I think this just needs a roof over it, and then that will count as being an indoor structure. Let's go ahead and put a little roof over that. Probably need some more branches. Oh yes, when we're moving around the map, we can hold shift to speed up. Or we can... Hit control to slow down. Probably shift is what we'll be using a little bit. So we'll hold shift and zoom right back to our village. Oop. You mine? I don't think so. Hello. Would you like to join Mr. Ale? Oh, look, a bone. Store that. Nice planting. So now any seed that we come across, we can start to plant it. Now, unfortunately, I think that used up all of my seeds. I could be wrong. I don't see any more gooseberry left in my inventory. Which is fine. I mean, there's other berries around here that we can use. So I'll hold shift and come over here and collect a few of these. 
and that way we can plant those and you can also plant oh what else like sunflower seeds apples um these of course have seeds on them and what else i think there's raspberries as well so all that stuff can be planted all right investigate that bone while we're at it aha uh -huh. bone carving so with that we can make some better tools but we can also make a little flute and um when one of your sapiens starts playing an instrument anyone nearby who's listening to music assuming that the person isn't tone deaf will get a little boost from hearing that music so that'll be nice and what else i feel like there was one more thing right so everyone's kind of just chilling right now we really don't have anything to do and that's totally fine i mean you don't have to like you know always have people working um but i usually prefer to have them doing their resting at night time so let's see if there's anything else more we can get done before the day is over there's nothing I can do with this flax just yet. I think actually, I think I can research it. I'm not sure what we can do with it. Um, if you can make rope, cordage, uh, weaving of some kind. I don't think you can make woven cloth just yet. Hopefully they introduce a loom of some kind. That would be really fun. Um, it'd be nice to maybe put some like rough, I don't know, hemp flax um, clothing on them. Alright, not much else to do for this tutorial. I think it covers the basics really well. Um, so, yeah, just keep track of who is tasked with what and what skills you have assigned. And what else? Yeah, always try to prep in advance when you have big building projects. Two things I always forget to do is harvest hay and gather branches. And then I'm like, why is this thing not getting built? Oh, it's because I forgot to gather a bunch of stuff beforehand. And otherwise, try to keep your tribe happy. They like sleeping indoors. They like having a roof over their heads. Um, you really can't ask for much more than that. So there you have it. There's the tutorial. Oh my goodness, does this person not have a bed? I knew this would happen. I invited so many people. You know what? We have some wool skins. I'm going to give you a nice bed because you had to wait. I think we can get that built real quick before he has to go to sleep. Because they do not like sleeping outdoors or on the ground. There we go. So there's that for this tutorial, and I hope that this game looks like a lot of fun, because I'm sure it will be. So definitely add it to your wish list, keep an eye on it. And I'll definitely have a series coming out once the game is in full release. I heard about this game through Splattercat Gaming's YouTube channel. And speaking of YouTube channels, if you are at all interested in prehistoric or ancient crafts, I'm going to put a few links in the description to this video of some YouTube channels that I really enjoy that um, talk about the kinds of tools that you would see used in this game. So if you are at all interested in that, you can find those in the description. But in the meantime, definitely put this on your wish list and give it a go. And ta-ta for now. <laughs>